This video introduces Google Drive, which can be used for creating, organizing, and sharing information with others. Before we get started, just a reminder that if you want to connect to the wireless network, please go to Lindbergh BYOD, find that network and connect. More information, details, and description can be found in the link in the description below this video. Teachers, this is a good time to pause the video and make sure that everyone can connect to the wireless network. If you are using a Apple, Android, or other handheld smartphone type device, consider downloading the drive from the App Store that you use. For the purpose of this video, I will be using Google Drive through the Chrome browser by going to drive.google.com. Teachers, this is a good time to pause the video and let everyone get connected to Google Drive. Google Drive is a great way to create, organize, and share information with others in the Lindbergh network. Let's start by creating something. If you would like to create a doc, a folder, a slides presentation, or anything else, go ahead and hit the plus button. On the browser, it's a rainbow colored new. On an app, it's going to look like a blue plus button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. For these purposes, let's open up and create a Google slide. Now, for this presentation, it's not about Google Slides, so all I'm going to do is give this a quick title. Like anything else in Google Drive, it automatically saves, and I'm going right back to Google Drive. So you can create files, you can create docs, you can create all sorts of things using the new button. Now that I've created it, where did it go? Well, it's now a part of my drive. So I could use the search feature within the drive to locate my slides presentation that I created. I could also take a look at recent. And again, I would find my drive tutorial. My drive is the portion of Google Drive that you can organize. So organization is another important factor. Let's create a folder. Now the folder that I've just created can be used to house any of the files that I've created. And so in this case, what I can do is drag my most recent tutorial into my drive, and I'll drop it into the new class that I created. By dragging and dropping, I can now begin to organize my files. So you can organize anything within my drive. You can put folders in other folders and files in folders. You cannot organize recent, though recent's really useful for figuring out what you are working on. And you cannot organize shared with me. Shared with me, however, is a great resource. If a teacher shared something with you, it's not really a part of your drive yet. So the solution is go find what they shared with you select it, and then click on the little drive folder icon that has a plus. This adds it to your My Drive. From that point on, you can access it through your My Drive. 
Teachers, this is a good time to pause the video and let your students create and organize their drive. When you're ready, continue. The final important piece of understanding Google Drive is sharing. So let's go back to that Drive class folder and let's open up our Drive tutorial. Now in this case I've selected it and the icon that we're really interested in is the person with a plus and this is how we can begin to share. Select the person that you want to share with Feel free to add a note, but most importantly, decide what kind of permission they have with what you're sharing. Default, they can edit what you're sharing, so that means that they can make changes. They could comment, and then they could view only. View only lets them see what you've created, but does not let them make changes. We can also select a folder and share it the same way. A final note on sharing, if you've opened up a file and you'd like to share, use the blue share button that you can find in that app. This has been your introduction to Google Drive.